Um, hello everybody, I'm finally back with a new video. It's been a very long time and I have to apologize for the lack of videos recently. Um, there were a lot, a lot of things going on. Uh, for example, at my job I had a lot of changes, a lot of work to do. And the, but the bigger thing or the main thing is that I, I have become father again. My third child, it's daughter this time. I have two sons now and a daughter. And um, she was born in, in February, so two months ago, and uh, that took a lot of time. So that's I'm sorry for the lack of videos, but I was quite busy. Um, I'm gonna make some new videos again very soon, tutorials and stuff and so on. So I'm back. Um, I just want today I want to give you a short update on the leaf cutter ants, and, and then show you a new setup for for my Campanotus ants that I created during the, my time off. Um, and yeah, let's get right into it. The leaf cutter ants, as you can see, they are cutting leaves right now. Uh, they are very healthy. Uh, the population has grown. There are far more ants now in the setup. Also in the outworld, you can always see a lot of things going on. Um, uh, a lot of leaves being cut, uh, a lot of action. There's, it's never boring. We also have the first soldiers, a few soldiers. So I've seen already a few soldiers, but they're worried. Most of the time they were inside the nest, so it's hard to observe them, but uh, it's great to have them. And uh, yeah, they are consuming more and more leaves. I have to get more and more leaves now, now nowadays, but uh, yeah, it's great to have a healthy colony. The fungus, uh, stayed more or less stable of the size because it's because it was winter um, you can see it here um, it's a healthy fungus and uh, during winter day it usually doesn't really grow because temperatures are a little bit lower and also um, there is less variety of leaves so they cut less because they they usually they like variety if if you don't offer them variety um, they they reduce the cutting because they, they get fed up with the same leaves again and again. And uh, that's what happens in winter because I just don't have as many, as many leaves available. There are just very few plants who are still green in winter here. So um, that's nothing to, that I'm really bothered about. The, the fungus will grow again and the population has grown so they can build up new fungus very quickly. So yeah, it's a healthy colony. Um, and it's a lot of fun to, to observe them, especially now that there's so much more going on in the outworld. Uh, it's, it never gets boring. You can always find something interesting happening. Um, I started giving them apples instead of sugar water or honey water because uh, it, it was just a huge mess. And now with so many ants, it's difficult to take things out and clean them and so on because there are always ants on it. So I decided to just feed them apples. Um, they are organic apples, so there shouldn't be too much a problem. Yeah, that's about uh, the leaf cutter ants. I will make a new tutorial pretty soon. Um, yeah, I, I know I announced it a long time ago. Uh, I have at least three more videos that I plan to do on how to keep a leaf cutter ants, and they're coming soon. Anyway, there's something else I want to show you now. Okay, this is something new. Um, we're outdoors, by the way, it's on our balcony. Um, so what we have here is a new setup. It's spring now. So this meant that uh, the local ants are coming out of diapause. So also my other colonies were waking up. And uh, I have reduced the amount of colonies I have. I, I used to have like seven or eight colonies uh, in the past. Nowadays I have only three of them. I have the leaf cutter ants that you all know, and uh, I have one colony of Formica fusca, and I have one Campanotus lignipertus colony, and this, this one. And uh, up to this time, this point, uh, I had them in, in, a, in a test tube setup, but I thought uh, after, you know, having, having a lot of fun with the leafcutter ants, if they are set up, I thought I want to do something similar for, the, for those ants, so I created this thing here. Uh, this little project so uh, they can behave more like in nature they have more room to uh, to walk around and uh, discover things I give you a short tour um, this here is the nest um, let me show it to you it's I can open it here and then we can have a look inside how it looks inside 
as you can see there's the colony inside here um, there's the queen hope you can see it it's some reflection on the glass uh, this here is for uh, for uh, keeping humidity in a, in a acceptable level it doesn't need too much humidity because there are campanotus there quite used to dry uh, nests but uh, a little bit is always good and there's brood here you can see there's brood there as well so the colon is healthy now let me close that again and uh, yes they have a, a large outward to explore I put in this uh, uh, put a lot of stuff in so they can go above it and underneath it and have yeah, a lot of places to explore also can make really cool videos it looks like in nature um, so that their area is a little bit expanded I put this uh, um, no, it's not a log it's more like just a branch in here put some uh, made some plateaus like this so I can offer them food on top of it so this way they can really move around um, I plan to keep that the whole setup outside in uh, spring and in in uh, autumn but in summer I will have to take it in because it gets too hot out here uh, as you can see already here the sun is shining uh, shining right into into the balcony and uh, it, it heats up the, the wall here and it can get really hot in summer so I will have to take them in but the plan is to keep them outside the rest of the year except for summer and they can also hibernate outside outside here um, draw, because we're living in the city uh, we hardly ever have uh, temperatures below zero here in the on the balcony, so uh, that works really well. I always keep them outside here on the balcony in the winter, so they can just stay here. And uh, yeah, the whole thing is more or less similar, like the the leaf cutter ant setup. With one difference that I made the nest on top of the whole thing and not underneath it because it makes things easier, and uh, it's also. Covered, uh, there's plus uh, pet foil around it and there's um, paraffin oil on it so they can't escape uh, that works pretty well and uh, put different substrate in here I have uh, coconut uh, soil here also inside the nest um, and, and sand as well and some rocks so it looks a little bit more interesting than just one substrate the reason why I put substrate into the nest as well is because the nest is actually too large for the size of the colony at the moment so I filled it up with uh, substrate and they can dig the, the substrate out when they need more space that was the plan originally but they have already now they have already took out a lot of substrate so uh, it seems that they they don't have a problem with too much space at the moment um, so yeah offer them honey here um, and insects and stuff so yeah we will hear more about them in the future uh, yes that's it from me uh, I will have more videos soon uh, tutorials and stuff and everything that is related to ants so if you like that video and if you want to see more please subscribe hit the bell icon and uh, yeah if you have a commentary or a question feel free to ask I'm always happy for if there's any interaction on my videos anyway see you around